this might be the first time I've been able to do one of these without like a pet out here. So it's just going to be me. So welcome to Monday's workout. We've got strength. Strength is back. And we've got a super fun net con where when you go through a round, the only rest you get is the rest that you earn, okay? So um, I'm going to do things a little differently today, so try to keep you on your toes. We're going to talk all about um, the warm-up and how it's going to work into the strength and how the strength is going to play off into the, to the actual wad. So let's talk about your warm-up first. So you're going to need um, a set of dumbbells um, or your backpack, whatever you feel comfortable using, and your jump rope. So um, I also have, the lightest dumbbells I have at home are 25, that's pretty heavy. Um, so if you do have access to a band, then go ahead and use a band. You can step in it into a single foot. Um, I'm super fortunate that I can actually attach it to the rig. We're gonna start out with five single arm rows. You're gonna grab one of your dumbbells. Um, if you have the ability to kneel on a bench, you certainly can. Otherwise, you're gonna stagger your stance, tuck your shoulder blades in, and we're at about a 45 degree angle. Um, I always joke, I'm not gonna come out with my protractor, but what I don't want is you doing your upright rows this way. I really want you thinking about shoulder hip blade down your back. So you're gonna go five on each side. Then you've got your five up downs. That's the burpee with no push up. Then we've got five single arm dumbbell deadlifts. Okay, so again, shoulder blades locked and loaded, five on each side. Okay, now the next part you're gonna go through twice. You're gonna go 50 jump rope. You can decide if you wanna do singles or doubles, but I want you to do something a little bit more creative. So you're gonna go through two rounds of the 50 jump rope, and then you're going to do a bent over row into a strict press. Okay, so this is a little bit different. I tend to like to have the dumbbell between my knees single arm row to a strict press. Let's go six on each side. Okay, go through that twice. Those movements are now going to play into your strength piece. So your strength piece today is gonna to be bent over rows at a tempo and a tempo upright row, okay? Um, I'll let you decide, um, depending on what you have for dumbbells, you could do the 10 um, together, okay? Again, 45 degree angle, about that torso, shoulder blades locked down and back. Tempo just means I'm controlled, I'm not kipping, okay? So don't go fast on that. Um, if the dumbbells you have are way too heavy to use together, single arm, one at a time is totally fine. Then we're gonna do 10 upright rows, okay? You can use both dumbbells. Um, I already know that this is a little bit too much for me, so I could do one at a time, standing upright, shoulder blades down and back, what I'm looking for is that elbow up and outside. Okay? Tempo means I'm controlling it. It's not a halting lift, it's not in slow motion, it's controlled. Now this band I can also use in place of my dumbbell, putting a little bit of tension on it, essentially zipping that band up my body. Okay? So again, I'm not lifting. Traps first, you guys don't want traps like Tiff. Throw the blades down in my back pockets. Elbows up and high and outside, okay? So strength piece is for 12 minutes, so if you're keeping track, going back and forth, that's a total of six rounds. Workout today, super fun. Everything's gonna play off of each other, okay? So that upright row is gonna come into effect. The jump rope is also gonna be super useful. I want you to set your clock, okay, for three minutes. And all this work needs to be done in that three minute window. The only rest that you get is the rest that you earn. So if you get done in two minutes, awesome, you have a minute to rest before you start your next round, okay? So this is for a total of five sets. So in a three minute window, you're going to complete one minute of double unders, 20 alternating dumbbell snatch, okay? Making sure that we jump and pull that elbow high and outside. So this is where that row and that upright row come into place. Remember that they're alternating. So guess what? That means a total of 20. Then we've got 10 bent over rows. You're gonna have to gauge this the best you can for yourself. Maybe it's 10 on both dumbbells, or maybe it's five per side. So again, if you're using both dumbbells, bend at the waist. Here, 
Okay, not tempo, but still with control. So there we have it. Finally going overhead. Got some dumbbell snatch in there. Lots of bent over rows. A little bit more jumping. We're gonna get in the heart rate up. Have fun with Monday's workout.